Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we are going to construct a basic 3D model assembly of universal joint in Autodesk Inventor software. In this tutorial, we will learn the motion of universal joint after assembly and we will make this assembly in three parts. This will be the joint one. Okay. This will be the joint connector and this will be joint 2. So back to the assembly. So now we will learn how to construct these parts one, one by one. First we will start with this joint 1. So go to new, take a standard part in millimeter and go to create. Now from here select the 2D sketch and here select the XY exit plane, rotate, this will be the top view, go to circle command and click the center point and make here a circle of dia 24mm, zoom in, now go to 3D model, extrude, extrude it up to a height of 33.5 mm. So, this is one directional x2. So, we will just select direction 1 here and OK. Now, rotate this and click on this bottom face, create sketch, rotate it. OK. Now, from here, go to line command, make one line here and one horizontal line ok and escape go to dimension this line will be of 4 mm and this also 4 mm ok escape shift this now go to dimension from this center this will be at a height of 6.5 mm and this also from center at 6.5 mm. Ok. Now go to arc command and make a three point arc here like this. Now go to dimension. The radius of this arc will be 4.75. Ok. Go to vertical constraint, select this midpoint of this arc and select this midpoint. Now it is fully defined. Now go to this profile and take chamfer. Here take a chamfer of 0.4 mm. Select this corner and this corner. Okay. Now we will take the okay. Go to line command from this center, make a vertical line, escape, go to line command once again and make one horizontal line. These lines are made for mirror profiles. Select both these lines, select this and select this line. Okay, drag this, this side. Now select this and this, make them construction vertical. Okay. Now go to mirror, select this profile, this chamfer and this, go to mirror line and select the vertical line, apply and done. Now drag this, ok, it will join up to this line. Now go to mirror profile once again and select this complete profile. Go to mirror line and select this horizontal line apply and done. Now you can see a space has been left between this. So go to three point arc, select this profile and select this profile. Ok. Similarly select this and select this. Now go to dimension, give this arc a radius of 4.75 and this also a radius of 4.75 ok so this will be the profile 
now as we have made this profile so go to 3d model go to extrude and here flip its direction to direction 2 and take a cutting dimension of 19.5 mm okay it is chain to cut and okay okay now select this bottom once again and go to create sketch now here go to circle command from this center point make a circle of dia 18.75 okay and go to 3d model select extrude command flip the direction to direction 2 so it will go to cut and here take a distance of 3.5 m but here we will not make a simple cut so go to more settings and it will ask you the taper angle we want a taper angle of minus 35 degree okay when we put minus this side so the taper will be like okay i'll show you the taper will be like uh, inside uh, it will be make a small diameter if it make a taper of plus 35 so taper will become wide inside okay so here we are taking a taper of minus 35 mm so oh, at 35 degree and okay okay so the profile will look like this a curved profile will be made inside you can see here a curved profile okay now till here we are completed now we will work for internal profiles first rotate this select this bottom edge go to fillet command here take a fillet of radius 1.2 and apply ok exit <clears throat> now go to view go to visual style and change it to wireframe go to front ok now we will make a profile inside so go to 3d model and take a 2d sketch go to origin and we will take the xy plane ok now go to line command make a line profile over here and one line profile ok till here and join this scale go to dimension select this point and select this point this will be 1 mm ok and now drag this profile inside or uh, ok go to horizontal constraint first select this midpoint and select this midpoint ok so it will get aligned now drag it inside ok till here ok now go to fillet command take a fillet of 0 0.25 select both these Escape. now drag it ok now go to this make it a project geometry Escape. now go to the tangent constraint select this radius and select this line so it will be tangent till this point go to horizontal constraint once again select this point of radius and select this so they are also horizontally aligned now go to dimension this dimension this point dimension from bottom will be of 4.75 m ok so now this is fully constrained sketch now go to 3d model extrude rotate this and go to a distance of 5 mm and from here take symmetric extrude now i will show you in solid 
what this profile actually is go to view visual style change it to shaded with edges now we are making an internal profile here at this cutout for the it will act as a stopper so this will be the profile this was hollow first now we have made this new profile <coughs> here we will take join and ok ok so this will be the new profile so we have to make this profile on all these cutouts so from here go to circular pattern select the extrude 4 go to rotation axis and select this outer circle as rotation axis now you can see here account is of 6 so change it to 4 now they are aligned with the 4 count and the degree will be 360 degree and ok now see this all here the profiles are being created ok now select this top face go to create sketch <coughs> go to view visual style and change it to wireframe ok and here go to sketch rectangle command and select the two point rectangle make a rectangle go to tangent constraint from here take tangent constraint select this and select this inner profile select this and select this inner profile now for this side select this outer and select this line similarly select this outer circle and select this line go to 3d model extrude ok first select this outer circle projected geometry and make it a construction unit ok now go to 3d model extrude flip it to cut and here take a depth of cut as 17.4 mm and ok ok so go to view visual style shaded with edges so this will be the profile now we will make a cut profile over here so go to 3d model take a 2d sketch and select the yz plane go to view visual style change it to wireframe now go to sketch and here go to line command and from here make a horizontal line go to dimension this line dimension will be 2.7 go to line once again from this point make a line escape go to arc command and make a 3 point arc go to tangent select this top and select this arc so now I select this line and select this arc now they both are tangent to each other go to dimension this arc radius of 7 mm ok now go to horizontal constraint select this point and select this bottom center point now this is fully defined sketch now go to line command from this center make a line till this edge and one line till here escape select this line make it a construction geometry ok rotate it select this make it construction select this also make it construction go to line command and join both these ends this and this ok escape now go to trim command and trim this extra profile exit and select this line make it construction so only this profile will be left go to 3d model extrude ok and take here cut from mid plane so it will be symmetric cut view visual style change back to shaded with edges here you can see 
the cut will be through so for a through cut we will increase the dimension or drag this outward and ok so this will be the profile now we want to mirror this so go to mirror select extrude 6 go to mirror plane and select the xy plane and ok so this will be the round profile which we will make here now go to 2d sketch once again and select the yz plane go to circle command from here we will select the center point and take a center point a uh, center dial of 4.83 ok so it is made here go to 3d model extrude we want to cut this profile so click here cut and take a symmetric cut it will be a through cut and ok ok now go to fillet command and take a fillet radius of 0 0.25 select this outer this inner this and this ok and select this and this ok and apply so this will be the fillet now from here we will select the color we will take a chrome polish for this so select here chrome polished so it is looking fine so this will be the profile now go to save we will save it in universal joint folder this is already made folder so i will make a new folder here of assembly ok we will save this part as joint 1 and save now with reference to joint 1 we will construct the second joint the joint 2 so go to file save as and save it as joint 2 ok now here you can see joint 2 now we will make some changes in this so select this bottom face go to create sketch and select go to project geometry and select this outer face go to 3d model extrude and here go to cut and make a cut of distance 9 mm and ok ok now we will fill this profile here so select this face go to create sketch go to project geometry and select this face now you can see the complete profile go to 3d model extrude and select this inner profile flip the direction and here we will select 2 and select this face till here this extrude will be conducted and here we will select join and ok now you can see this is a closed profile ok <clears throat> now select this face once again create sketch and this time go to rectangle command and take a two point center rectangle from this point make a rectangle dimension this dimension will be 12.62 and this also 12.62 ok now go to 3d model extrude extrude it up to a height of 17.8 mm and ok ok <clears throat> now go to front view rotate now go to view visual style and wireframe now we will make a round chamfer over here go to 3d model take a 2d sketch at the xy plane 
line command make a taper line over here and make this triangle okay go to coincident constraint select this line and select this point now go to dimension so the angle between this will be of 45 degree and this height will be of 5 mm okay rotate this and here we will find the point of starting from this center point okay now we will select the horizontal distance as 5.7 mm okay so this will be the profile <coughs> Okay, finish sketch and here go to revolve and axis will be the y axis. Take here cut, go to view visual style back to shaded with edges. Now you can see the profile will change here to flat to a curved and okay. So this will be the profile. Okay, <clears throat> now we will do the radius part and the chamfer. First, go to chamfer and here select a distance of 1.25. Select this edge, this, this, and rotate this and this bottom edge. Apply. Exit. Now go to fillet and here take a fillet radius of 0 0.25 select this 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 all the four edges select this portion also this and this round apply okay so this will be the profile now we are going to construct the round profile over here. This profile we will construct now. So go to 2D sketch and from here select the XY plane. Here go to line command, change the view, visual style, change it to wireframe. Make a line over here, escape, go to line once again and make this time a vertical line skip go to dimension this point this distance of this vertical line will be 3 mm okay and the horizontal line will be at a distance of 1.35 okay now go to r command select this point and select here this point make a arc Go to dimension, here the radius of this arc will be 3. Now go to horizontal constraint, select this point and select this point. Now it is aligned. Now we will make the revolve profile. So go to 3D model, take the revolve command and the rotation of axis will be this. Okay, it will be a join profile and okay. So this will be the profile. Go to view, visual style, shaded with edges. So this will be the profile here. Now go to 3D model, mirror command, select this. But from here also you can select revolve, mirror plane and select the plane as YZ plane for mirror. So this profile will appear here and OK. okay. So this is the final profile. Now save it. Now join 2 is complete. Now we will make the third part, the connecting part between the joint 1 and joint 2. So go to new, take a standard part in millimeter and go to create. Now we are going to make the joint connector. Go to 2D sketch and select the XZ plane, rotate. Go to rectangle command and select two point center rectangle. From this center point, 
go to dimension the dimension of this will be 14.4 and vertical dimension also 14.4 m okay now go to 3d model extrude extrude it up to 19.7 mm okay and okay now go to right view here we will make a cut profile a chamfer cut profile so go to 2d sketch go to origin and select the yz plane now go to view visual style here take wireframe back to sketch and take the line command here make a line okay so this will be the profile and make one more profile over here till this okay so this will be the profile on which we will work go to dimension from outside okay first we will give the dimension rotate it select this point and select this edge so it will be 0.25 inside similarly select this side and select this point this will be also 0.25 okay go to go to the right view so this profile will be 0.25 inside now the distance this from outer will be of 6 mm okay and the distance between these two profiles will be of 2.54 mm okay now the angle between these two profiles will be of 30 degree here also 30 degree angle okay now go to line command make a center line over here escape select this line make it a construction geometry now go to 3d model go to revolve and select this outer profile go to view visual style shaded with edges as you can see this is a rectangular profile now go to axis the axis will be the center line which we have made in sketching now go to cut so it will change the profile to this chamfer profile and ok so this will be the final output from this view you can see ok now we will make the clamping profile so change the view go to xy plane go to create sketch go to view visual style wireframe now go back to sketch and select the circle command here make a circle of dia 4.75 go to 3d model ok first complete the sketch go to dimension from bottom this will be at a height of 6.7 mm go to vertical constraint select this point and select the center point go to 3d model extrude as this is at the center so we will take the symmetric extrude of distance 24 mm and ok ok now rotate this now select this side face or we will select the yz plane and create sketch go to circle command this time we will take a circle from top of 4.75 and the distance from top end will be of 6.7 ok now go to vertical constraint select ok horizontal constraint select this top and select this ok go to 3d model extrude same we will do a symmetric extrude of 
ट्वेंटी फोर एम एम एंड ओके ना गो बैक टू व्यू विजुअल स्टाइल शेडेड विद एजेस सो दिस विल बी द प्रोफाइल विच यू हैम वेड नाउ गो टू थ्री डी मॉडल फिलिट कमांड हेयर टेक अ रेडियस डायमेंशन एज वन पॉइंट टू एम एम एंड सेलेक्ट एच सेलेक्ट दिस एच सेलेक्ट ऑल द फोर साइड एजेस एंड अपाय ओके नाउ मेक दिस रेडियस एज जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव एंड सेलेक्ट दिस टॉप एंड सेलेक्ट दिस बॉटम सेलेक्ट दिस सर्कल ऑल्सो दिस सर्कल सेलेक्ट दिस आउटर प्रोफाइल दिस प्रोफाइल रोटेट दिस प्रोफाइल एंड लास्ट दिस प्रोफाइल अप्लाई ओके नाउ दिस इज कंप्लीट now go to default from here we will take the color as the black color we will assign to gun metal okay so now save it save it as joint connector okay and save okay now we are going to construct the new universal joint assembly go to new take a standard assembly in millimeter and go to create go to place first we will place the joint one open and place it over here escape rotate this and select this edge okay now go to view Visual style, change it to shaded with edges, and this light view to grey room. Okay. Now go to assemble. Here the movement is there in this part. So to constrain its location, open its origin. So these are origin of joint one. Open this origin. These are origin of assembly. Go to constrain. Y Z plane and Y Z plane. apply exit plane and exit plane here it is going downwards so click here on flush apply and xy plane and xy plane go back to mate and apply okay now its location is constrained now go to place we'll place here the joint connector open and place it over here escape now go to free rotation and select this part rotate it and place it like this okay go to constrain select this axis and select this axis and apply okay now it is moving like this so we have to constrain the movement this movement over here and make it at center of this joint one so close this and open joint connector origin go to constrain select the yz plane of joint 1 and uh, here we will select xy plane of joint connector and apply okay so its movement will be only like this okay now we will place the third part go to place here select joint 2 and open place it over here and escape go to free rotation once again select this part and place it like this okay so it will place on this joint go to constrain select this axis and select this axis apply exit now we have to constrain this movement so to constrain this movement go to constrain uh minimize joint 1 and open joint 2 origin go to constrain once again select the yz plane of joint connector and yz plane of 
join to and apply okay now it is having this moment with joint connect so these will be the moment of universal joint it is moving like this so this was a basic tutorial to how to construct a universal joint assembly in autodesk inventor i hope you like the video if you do that please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you